Hey guys, what's up everyone? Skullcrusher here, Wednesday, March the 20th, 2019, and Boomers, we're coming right back at you with another Boom Beach video, and in today's video, we will be covering Boom Town Destroyed with two attacks. Yes, I'm sure you are all familiar with the layout of Boomtown, and this was also a 298 force point Boomtown on Operation Dead End, and yes, the task force, five man OG Boomers, did destroy it with two attacks. Let's give credit to the attackers. First up was Bay's Beach, and of course, the finisher, Boss Beach, and these guys are absolute destroyers when it comes to operations they've done almost every base not once not twice not thrice but literally a hundred times and once again blown away witnessing these attacks before my eyes and you guys are in for an absolute treat let me know in the comments after what you think of these attacks give a thumbs up for base beach leave a comment for boss beach but guys this is something else so let's get things started here base beach did start things off here with his zookas scorchers and bullet we've got that attacker bonus with a troop damage 142 percent gunboat energy at 254 percent so guys base is rocking a 6 4 statue lineup we're talking six gunboat energy with four troop damage so guys we are going to jump right in here and of course pretty standard here literally the only thing off the beaten path here is the fact that we've got a lone flamethrower in the back there instead of a rocket launcher so Baze did start things off with a barrage on the left there clearing those shock mines and mines opening up the path for the troops to the flare point and I'm saying flare point because this is not a kill zone. This is not the KZ. This is the first mission of this attack here. And of course, checking out the range of these rocket launchers. The beach itself is not hot. But as soon as those Zookas are making their way off the beach, yes, guys, we are then in range of those rocket launchers. So first flare point is to directly behind the left side shield generators. Base does a great job here with the smokes. And right at the end here, guys, you're going to see a very nice three smoke drop. And the reason why it's in that pattern is because Baze will then flare the furthest shield gen from the troops right now, which will then pull in the Scorchers and Bullet to that shield gen, which then the smoke will expire, taunts will activate, meaning all defenses will now target Bullet and the Scorchers before they do the Zookas. And just like that, we've got beautiful execution. So Baze now does cycle a shock on two of the four rocket launchers. Some of the Zookas did peek off a little bit further on the right there, but as long as Baze keeps cycling taunt, the shield gens will go down. And just like that, guys, last shield gen down and out. Baze will now farm what he can, and we are going to have a quick reflare to the top left here. Let's regroup those troops. Let's set up the second mission on this attack here. So, guys, brilliant effort there for round one of the attack here from Baze Beach, setting it up to take out the left side shield generators. So guys, we're just going to speed this up the times too, because at this point, Baze is farming. But we do have to keep in mind the range of these two rocket launchers once the Zookas do get in range of them. Of course, it will spell absolute disaster here. So Baze is playing around with a couple of his flares. I'm not sure exactly what he was going with on this. I think he did mention it in the game chat that he did have a little bit of a miss flare. Nonetheless, still farming those power cells with the Zookas, the Scorcher, scorchers and a bullet not too spread apart we are moments away from losing a scorcher there and we did just lose some of our zookas from the rocket launcher and just like that we now have a reflare back and forward this is what i'm talking about so bays will be able to let us know nonetheless a great recovery but just like that we have the troops making their way to the next flare point and at this point, the mission here will be to focus on rocket launchers. So just like that, we should have a direct reflare to the rocket launcher. Easy pickings for the Zookas. And just like that, we've got the Scorcher actually pulling out in front of the Zookas on the right flank there, which would actually draw in the fire from the rocket launchers. That splash damage would carry over, unfortunately, and toast those Zookas. Nicely done here. We have a direct reflare to the flamethrower. 
This is where things would get normally a little bit more interesting if it was a rocket launcher because it would just be reflare after reflare after reflare picking off the rocket launcher, but unfortunately it looked like that flamethrower did pick off some of the Zookas there, really, really dwindling down base numbers. Nonetheless, base got 10 seconds left here with still three rocket launchers remaining for a first attack there, guys. I think that was an absolute excellent job managing the gumboat energy, managing the time, a couple miss flares back and forth, but as time does expire, guys, we still have Zuka's bullet and a scorcher on the battlefield. So guys, a big shout out to Bay's Beach there for the first attack. That's what I'm talking about here. And of course, we're gonna move forward here to Boss Beach, rounding things up here. And yes, guys, that is Captain Everspark with the Zookas. This time, we're gonna switch things up a little bit with the statues. You've got Boss Beach with 94, oh, sorry, that's the casualties, 104 Zookas with Captain Everspark, attacker bonus with troop damage at plus 194%, and that gunboat energy at plus 186%. Sa sorry, the statues have been switched. So instead of that 6-4, Boss is rocking a 4-6 with 4 gunboat energy and 6 troop damage. So this is going to get interesting, guys. We still have one heck of a layout here. Shield gens on the far right. And of course, this attack is on the go here. So Boss does start things off with a flare to the far right side of the beach, deploying his Zookas one after the other. Before the Zookas make their way to the flare point, we have a direct flare to the next flare point, which is in front of the two machine guns. Nicely done. Some of the Zookas did succumb to casualties due to that boom mine, but brilliant job with the flare points here. You were watching these Zookas and Everspark dance between the mines here. Absolutely beautiful, guys. And just like that, we've got the next flare point, which is going to be up top, nestled in between the two RLs. I like how the Zookas just curve their way in, completely avoiding the shock mines there. That was all because of the, uh, the flare point there done by Boss. Brilliant job, of course, with the smokes there. One up top, then in the middle there, giving those Zookas just a little bit extra time. Tagged the RL up top as well. That was just to ensure that when the smoke expires, the Zookas will target it first. So now we've got the smoke expired and Zookas are at free will here. Just like that, we've got three rocket launchers down and out with a reflare further to the right there, getting closer to those shield gens. One shock has been cycled to pin down the mortar and the shock launchers with a universal remote followed up as well to pin down that mortar. And just like that, we've got a second universal remote followed up to pin down the shock launcher. This is just excellent execution, managing gunboat energy, brilliant as well. And we've got one more shield gen to go with that shock launcher still pinned down due to the universal remote. So we will now have a reflare getting the troops out of the danger zone there, regrouping before we have the core rush, guys. And yes, we did bring this down in two hits, so there is a core rush coming. Unfortunately, Captain Everspark did get tagged by the shock launcher there. Nonetheless, a direct reflare to the damage amplifier. We're gonna regroup this, uh, the troops, really concentrate them around those power cells, and then it's only three pickings on the way to that core here. Very nicely done here. Critters as well on the far right there. Now, of course, keep in mind the range of those shock launchers and these rocket launchers, guys. And Zookas are absolutely hanging on by a thread as well due to the mine on the walk to the flare point to take out the shield gens. And this attack is still going on. Captain Everspark has fired off a universal remote. We have now hacked the flamethrower to the right of the core here. Nice reflare. Let's regroup the troops, bunch them up a little bit tighter. Still keep in mind the range of that shock launcher. Boss has then cycled a shock, pinning down the shock launcher. Guys, this is getting absolutely crazy here. We've got rocket launchers up front directly targeting 
critters and of course picking off some of the zookas on the right flank as well we've got shock launchers firing shock blasters firing rocket launchers firing single defense shots firing cannons boom cannons you name it but there is a handful of zookas remaining here with captain everspark and they are in the sweet spot here out of range of the rls out of range of the shock launchers and only time will tell captain everspark is down and out guys we are moments away from a vicious two hit boomtown finish 298 force points operation dead end with the med kit around the core look at that golden halo boom goes the dynamite guys absolutely savage right there once again let me know in the comments what you thought of that attack leave a thumbs up a like for base beach leave a comment for boss beach guys and overall let me know what you thought of that guys once again absolute brilliant right there a big shout out to the two attackers base beach and boss beach guys we will officially be wrapping up the video once again do not forget to support the channel and crush that subscribe button ring that bell to stay notified for when i upload content as well once again boomers have a wonderful night we'll catch you later